keep that one in our minds. Anyway, finally, autumn may be just around the corner, but the bright colours of summer flowers haven't quite faded yet, have they? And a few places are looking more spectacular than the Lincolnshire town of Caister. Yeah, and virtually every street are hanging baskets and pots teeming with thousands of flowers. And looking after them is a 75-year-old resident committed to his community. Emma Wilkinson reports. <laughs> To last by Philip's farm I flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. Mike is a lifelong fan of Tennyson, so the works of the great Lincolnshire poet inspire him as he works day in, day out to keep this corner of the county looking splendid. I get up at about half five, and about half six, start then watering around the town. And sometimes I finish it. Nine o'clock. And he does it for no other reason than pride of place. Seeing all the people really enjoying the, the beauty of the flowers and hearing all the comments, it's absolutely wonderful. It makes people really feel good. It lifts the spirit. But it's a lot of work. From planting tons of bulbs to securing sponsorship, there is always something for Mike to do. He relies on other volunteers like Cliff to help. He says community spirit is what's made Caster in Bloom thrive. Back in 2009, when this all started, there were around 10 flower baskets. Today, there are more than 530 baskets and planters like these all around town. A town that only has around 3,000 people in it. It really has brought the heart back to Caster. Residents really do take pride in, in what's happening around Caster at present. A lot of market towns around this area, as, as you'll no, we're dying a bit of a death, but Caster is just going from strength to strength, and that's down to, to the community and people like Michael and, and Cliff. Even when Mike's van was stolen, the mayor drove him around in his car so the flowers wouldn't suffer. You would think there was a huge team looking after so many pots and baskets and troughs to have them looking so pristine and colourful and beautiful and dead-headed. You can see the care that goes into it. It's absolutely fabulous. When we have people come to the shop who are on holiday around here, they just are blown away by the flowers. We used to enter competitions and we used to win gold and we used to get good prizes for it, but now we just do it for the people. And it's got to a point now where people come just to see the flowers from not just Lincolnshire, but all over the country. And I even had somebody in from Australia who'd seen it in a magazine, was visiting the UK and made a special journey all the way here. Summer may be drawing to a close, but the work to keep Caster looking glorious will continue far beyond the first frosts. And many here think other towns and villages could take a leaf out of their book. Emma Wilkinson, ITV News, Caster. Oh, we've had some great role models on this programme, haven't we, tonight? We have, be more yeah. John, be more Michael, that's Absolutely. what I say. Absolutely, and be more Kerry. Here she